Nigeria is not working. Trouble in APC as S Chairman John Oyegun makes U turn. The former National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC, Chief John Odigwe Oyegun, has said that the country is not working, adding that the people are losing faith in its leaders. Oyegun made his comments while speaking at the 17th edition of the Daily Trust Dialogue. He revealed that there was an active threat to the nation's democracy in his words. I borrow from what the former governor of Borno State, Kashim Shetima, said. He passionately appealed that we must try to make Nigeria work. Why is Nigeria not working? At the risk of being misinterpreted, let me make the point that we have been growing in those 20 years, every year and with every administration. I dare to even say that there is hardly a single administration of in those 20 years that has not left office on unpopular and on eroded. We have never asked ourselves the question, why are people getting increasingly unhappy with their governors within those 20 years? Why are they getting poorer? Why are they losing hope? Those are the questions I think pose a threat to our democracy because today we are beginning to hear rumblings that we didn't hear before. Wow, I don't even know what is happening these days because it's like all this, uh, you know, few of the APC uh, chieftains, strong member in the APC, they are beginning to say the truth. All of them are hiding the truth. They know what is happening. They know what is happening. There's nobody that will say uh, he or she doesn't know what is happening. They know what is happening. And what people have been saying, those are the real truth. I don't know how long they will continue to hide the truth, not coming out to say the way, say things just the way they are. Of course, there's no doubt, right from time, right from time immemorial, people have been complaining about governance, about how our leaders have been behaving, whether they are behaving well or they are misbehaving, but people are complaining. The poor are getting poorer. The rich are getting richer. And the lucrative, most lucrative job in Nigeria is just being a politician. That's it. Once you are there, that is the end of your thing. All you just need to do is just to be aligning with the government of the day any government that comes in if you are part of them you just be supporting them you just be telling them what they want to hear as far as your pocket you know is being treated well that is just the way it is but the question is that how long will all of this last you because once you are not there no more there again all the things that you have said in the past posterity will definitely judge that is just the way it is those who, who were in power before, now they are talking and they don't have the moral standing to say or to tell people what they need to hear because when you were there too, you never listened. You never cared. It was all about them, all about you and all of that. Now you are no more there. You can now see clearly. Before they will go into power, they usually see clearly, but as soon as they get there, they don't see again. It's all about how they are going to be getting themselves happy. It's all about the people. We know those who were not part of the government before now. They are part of the government now. Their language, you know, they've changed their language. They are singing a different song. First time in this administration that I, I heard Issei Sage saying, the, saying things the way it is because of this Amotekun. He came out straight away and told the Southwest go, go, governors that Malami should not be listened to. They shouldn't even bother to even listen to or go with his directives because he has no right to proclaim or to declare Amoteku illegal. He said it clearly. Now, the APC uh, S chairman, Oyegun, is not talking. It's not working. The country has not been working. If you tell us that the country has not been working before this administration came in, it's a known fact. And people's expectations were really high that, oh, these guys are going to come to, to change the narratives. But, you know, unfortunately, they are doing worse. They are doing worse than people expected, than people thought about. A lot of people that gave them their vote, a lot of people of people that came out and said, oh, let us even commit this governance into your hands because we are going to do better because we felt that, okay, you all know what are, you know what we have been going through in this country. Now you are coming boldly to say, okay, we know all of these things clearly. And they came with that uh, enthusiasm that they would change the narratives. But unfortunately, they came and they started dishing out their own agenda not knowing that their agenda is different from the agenda uh, the Nigerian people have. And it's unfortunate. People are getting poorer. People are getting 
you know, depressed. A lot of things are happening. The insecurity we are talking about before, you know, it's not double dose. It has, you know, skyrocketed the insecurity that we are facing now. You talk about a disobedience to court order. You talk about impunity, nepotism at the highest level. And they don't care. They don't even, they are not remorse. They are not part of. If you like to talk from now to eternity, they don't even listen. And these were the things that we were experiencing in the past administration before they came in. Unfortunately, they came and, you know, began, began to give it in a, in a double dose. Triple folding, triple folds, even to Nigerians. And yet, a lot of people don't even get it. Some people are not comfortable with the situation on ground, that it is the best thing. And some people are saying, no, 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 no. It's not everybody that can be boxed. It's not everybody that can be put, you know, in a corner. It's not everybody that will be trampled upon. They will not agree to that. And that's why you're, you see pockets of people still singing, coming out to say things just the way they are. Irrespective of the fact that people are still castigating them, that go and sit down, go and do this, go and do that. But at the end of the day, a lot of them are still suffering and smiling. Once they see people who are going to speak the truth, yet they will see, they will see be castigating them. So there is nothing uh, Chief Oye, Oyegu wants to, wants to tell us now that Nigerians do not know. He's just trying to confirm. He's just trying to say, okay, it is true. They've been denying it all this while. They've been denying it. But now he's coming out to say, yes, things are not working. And that is just the, the truth of the matter. I'm sure uh, they will not say, oh, yeah, he's not benefiting again from a uh, corruption or because uh, okay, of course there are people who still come and say oh because he's no longer the the uh, APC chairman so that is why he's speaking so he does he's not relevant he doesn't have electoral value they will say he's a paper paper weight he doesn't have weight so because he has not been given some privileges again maybe the privileges he was having you know has been stripped of him and that is why he's talking whether they like it or not it that is just the truth. That is just the truth. After all, he says Isage is still the head of a anti-corruption, one thing, one thing. Yes, he came out and said the truth. No, that the position of the AGF is not the right thing. It's not the right thing. So if they like, let them be deceiving themselves. The ones who will see the truth and will not say it. Even concerning this Amotekun that we've been talking about, the vice president has not even said anything. We've not heard about him. He has not said anything. The same thing when the issue of Shawara was ongoing. He never made a statement concerning uh, 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 what was going on, concerning the disobedience to court order. The only thing he just said, oh, he didn't want to go for an award or whatever that was that was arranged, that he wanted to go and get an award, that, you know, it would be insensitive of him to attend that uh, award uh, program because Oshiwore was incarcerated, incarcerated or whatever. And that was what he said. But for you to say, okay... Okay, no, the government is right in this manner. The government is not right in this manner. He couldn't say anything. It was the same Ose Ose Sagi that was just trying to, to be on the fence. He was just on the fence. He was not just even coming out. He was just trying to, you know, say, okay, they should just, uh, they should just do whatever the DSS wanted them to do. Then if after that, if they don't release the Omo Sheili, they should worry them. They will know that, I mean, that means there's something that uh, DSS, you know, was looking for. At least he was able to, we, we knew his stand concerning that. Now that we are talking of Amoteku, he was the first person that just came out, even before Falano and the rest people came out to make their submission known. He was the first person that just said, no, 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 no. This is a no, 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 no. We can't continue like this. So what Oyegu is saying is not uh, out of place. They are in the same party. But why is it that they are not telling themselves the truth? Of course, maybe they don't even have access since they have Kabat. Even the president's wife is complaining that the cabas are not even allowing her to see her husband. She does not have a pillow talk with her husband. Her husband will give directives. They will do something else. She has been crying all this while. We've not even heard uh, from her lately. So if uh, the president's wife could not even have access to, to her husband, then how do you expect Oyegu to even have uh, access to him? To the extent that they will even tell him these are the things happening. These are the situation on ground. The Kabas, I don't know their own setting with the president. He listens to them. He doesn't listen to anybody. And that's why it will even be difficult for this man to even say anything. Everybody is trying to say he should say something that where does he stand? Tinumbu as well. Where does he stand? The only thing is just for for them to be patching the the federal government. So this is not a new to Nigerians, but they are in the same party. They should advise themselves. 
chief Oyegun should advise. He's, he's one of the chief things in the party. He should advise the government on what to do because at this stage in time, they cannot be blaming PDP again. This is the fifth year. They cannot be blaming PDP that it was PDP and all of that. Then what did you bring to the table? Or does it mean you were trying to work on the glory of the PDP because that means you didn't have anything to offer? Because if you con continue to complain of PDP, of course they don't even say that now because it will be shameful for them to even be referring to what PDP did. What have you brought to the table? This is the fifth year. Someone says here that he has said it all as it is. Hope, but hope ESCC will not go after him with one funny allegation. Someone says you have spoken the mind of the people. Yes, whether they will not go after him, he has said his mind. <laughs> oh, that is the trending thing. Now, if you if you say anything, they will just come for you, look for something, you know, to to levy against you. So, guys, what do you think concerning what a APC uh, S chairman John Uyegun saying Nigeria is not working? Leave your comment below.